Have you ever wondered why the frog, a seemingly simple creature, can both hop on land and swim in the water with such ease? Welcome to a seven-minute journey into the world of amphibians, a group of cold-blooded vertebrates that includes frogs, toads, salamanders, and newts. Imagine a creature that starts its life in the water, breathing through gills, only to transform and grow lungs, stepping out onto land. That's the fascinating life cycle of an amphibian. The word amphibian itself comes from the Greek word amphibios, which means both kinds of life. And it's this dual life that sets these creatures apart. Amphibians are a crucial part of our ecosystem. They act as both predator and prey, maintaining the delicate balance of nature. Many of them have a unique skin, moist and porous, that allows them to breathe. Yes, you heard it right. Amphibians can breathe through their skin, but remember, this skin is sensitive, making them a crucial indicator of environmental health. A decline in amphibian populations often signals a problem in our environment. Now let's dive deeper into the world of these fantastic creatures. Take the poison dart frog, for instance. Brilliantly colored and found in Central and South America, they are one of the most toxic creatures on Earth. Indigenous people have used their secretions to poison the tips of blow darts, hence the name. Or consider the axolotl, a type of salamander that never undergoes complete metamorphosis, staying in its larval form throughout its life. Interestingly, they have the power to regenerate not just their tails, but also other body parts like their heart and spinal cord. And who can forget the melodious night music of frogs and toads? Male frogs and toads often sing to attract females. Each species has a unique song, making an evening by a pond a symphony of diverse sounds. Seven minutes may seem like a short time, but in these few moments we hopped from land to water and back again, just like our amphibian friends. We've journeyed through their life cycles, their habitats and their unique abilities. We've learned about their crucial role in our ecosystem and the fascinating adaptations that make them so special. Our dance with amphibians has been both fun and educational, a vivid exploration of one of nature's most versatile creatures. It's a reminder that every creature, no matter how small or seemingly simple, holds a world of wonders. So the next time you see a frog hopping by or hear a toad's evening song, remember the amazing journey they've undertaken, the delicate balance they help maintain, and the fascinating world they represent. And that's the beauty of learning. The more we know, the more we realize how interconnected we all are. So keep exploring, keep learning, and remember, every hop in nature is a step towards understanding our wonderful world better. Until next time, keep the curiosity alive.